Tonga kicking 14 goals to seven after half time to win by 41 points. Sandy Roberts has more. Although Scott Turner got the Tigers away to a flying start, it was a game that could prove confusing. Former Richmond captain Jeff Hogg celebrated his 150th game with a gimme goal for Fitzroy, but left the ground shortly after with a hamstring. And Michael Dunstan socked off the ground to give the Lions a five-point lead. But then former Lions, and now Tigers, Broderick and Elliott, gave Richardson a chance to close the gap. Broderick in particular was enjoying playing against his old side. Turner had the chance to give the Tigers the lead, but it was a moment he'd prefer to forget. Richmond looked sharp early in the second half as Maxwell put them in front. 20 seconds later, Daffy kicked his third and the Lions were looking down the barrel. Richmond was starting to run, were first to the ball and at the final change, led by 13 points. Gale stretched that lead quickly to 20. And Tony Free virtually sealed the match when he booted his second. The Tigers went on with the job winning eventually by 41 points. Sandy Roberts, Seven Nightly News. Richmond went up against Fitzroy at uh, Princess Dash Optus Oval. And KB, what a turn up or was it? Yes, well, it was a turn up. Uh, the turning point of this game came at the 30 minute mark of the third term when the Tigers led by one point. Nash got a free kick about 45 metres out and threaded one through. They bounced the ball in the centre of the ground. They rushed it out of the centre and Tony Free kicked a goal. And the Tigers led by 13 points at three quarter time. And that seemed to kill the spirit of Fitzroy, who played very, very well early. In fact, they overused the ball. They were well on top in the first quarter. They led by 14 points. They led by 18 points in the second term. But finally, Richmond got its game together, mainly through the Great work of Broderick, who played a superb game in the centre. Uh, Michael Gale also across the half-back flank. And the other two Fitzroy guys who crossed this year in Dundas and Elliott, they struggled. And of course, unfortunately for the Lions, uh, Jeff Hogg, after kicking a goal in the first five minutes, left the field with a hamstring injury uh, at the 20-minute mark. Boyd played a terrific game for Fitzroy, particularly up until midway through the third term when he copped a very, very heavy knock. McGregor was a good player for him on the wing. Unfortunately, he's just got to learn to... Uh, get more out of his kicking. We see there coming in for the ball there is Spawn. He did a few nice things also for the Lions. But uh, for the Tigers, Tony Free was a terrific player, as was Chris Nash, who came off the interchange bench. I've, uh, I've given Paul Broderick three votes for his performance. Tony Free was a wonderful leader for the Tigers. And Brad Boyd, who in the first half was the best player on the ground, but did struggle after getting a heavy knock, but I thought he did enough to earn one vote. Thanks, KB. And joining us, Jeff Hogg, former Richmond skipper. And also now full forward for Fitzroy, but uh, did a hamstring yesterday, Hoggy. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks, Rex. Thank Glenn you. Worry, the football manager of Fitzroy, uh, in a range of interview during the week, asked me not to mention why you went from Richmond to Fitzroy, and I really appreciate that. Why did you? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Um, I think it was a principal thing in the end, because uh, at the end of 93, Richmond didn't seem too keen to keep me. Yeah. And... Uh, they were pretty keen on getting a few players, uh, in particular these Fitzroy guys. So uh, they could use me, I suppose, as a bit of a, a trading tool, I suppose. Were you surprised when you went to Fitzroy? It was muted, they were going to merge, it was muted, that they, the bank might close them up. And I spoke to your Guernsey presentation night, and it was yeah. one of the most electrifying evenings I've ever been to. Yeah, well, um, yeah, Fitzroy, they were sort of in a big predicament there. and. Uh, they came through, and I wasn't wasn't overly surprised actually with you know how they came through because they've got a great great administration down yeah. there and a great bunch of people. So. Okay, Bob Davis. Jeffrey, when the when a move like that is mooted, did your manager say to you, "We're going to shift"? Did you say you're going to shift? And was it a really just a financial thing for you? No, it wasn't financial at all. It was you know, as I said, it was a, a principal thing. Um, you know, when you're not wanted really there then you're not Did wanted. they really tell you you weren't wanted? Well, not they didn't exactly say it in those, those words but uh, nothing was said. So that means... And you're out of contract? Yep. But how could you ever understand Richmond, who have probably struggled to kick scores, could ever think that maybe you weren't going to be part of their setup for the next two or threes? Isn't that difficult for you to understand? Yeah, well, yeah it is very difficult. So. Yeah, I just don't know on that one. Did you ever speak to anyone down at Richmond, Jeff? I mean, did you actually have a meeting yourself, uh, maybe with Johnny Northey or the administration at the time when uh, it was talked about the captain leaving? Well, I must admit, I probably only spoke to Johnny Northey for about two minutes on the phone, and uh, my manager had, you know, said to people at Richmond if they wanted to talk to me, they could, but uh, they never really bothered to 
to get to me, so... He didn't put a heavy heavy price on your head? Myself? Your manager? No, no. Well, what about Fitzroy Hoggy, getting off uh, that subject? Yeah. What's, uh, what's their outlook for the next month and for the rest of the season? Oh, I think things are pretty bright. You know, yesterday was a big opportunity for us to go sort of four and two and get a head of a, you know, sort of a group of teams, yep. but we're sort of in a pack now. Um, mm. We play North Melbourne next week and then St Kilda, and after that I couldn't couldn't tell you, to be honest. Um, I think things are looking pretty bright as long as we can stay, you know, fairly healthy on the field. We've got a good bunch of older guys with a good blend of young guys, and... Uh, yeah, yesterday was a bad day, but hopefully we'll put that behind us. Good on you, Hoggy. Thanks a lot for coming in. All the best for the rest of the year. And, of course, uh, Jeff Hogg, we wish him a speedy recovery to that hamstring injury. The Big Dipper was down...